yo, yo, what's up? It's your man, Ken Jackson. This is the Ken Jackson Experience coming to you live from South Florida. And uh, before I get started, before I get started, I want to let you all know uh, that you're going to hear some background noise. Why? Because the kids are here in the living room with me. They're watching TV and playing. So you might hear some screams. You'll probably hear some cartoons or whatever going on, but that's okay uh, because um, the kids always have priority around here, and uh, I'm not about to uh, uh, limit their their fun time. All right, so um, uh, so let's get into it. We are finally here. Now, keep in mind this isn't an official show. Uh, this is just. Uh, pretty much a test show uh, I wanted to uh, get on here and uh, talk for a little while and uh, test out some of this uh, fancy new gear that I got uh, so that I can do these shows uh, these broadcasts uh, as well as some other services that I provide to some clients out in the field so um, we're going to jump right into it uh, I was uh, checking out some uh, some of the news today. Obviously, a lot of you have been following uh, what's been going on with our fearless leader, uh, uh, King Trump, King Donald, as I call him, uh, and uh, the, the impeachment hearings, uh, which really weren't any hearings. Uh, the, the trial wasn't really a trial. Uh, how can you have a trial without any witnesses? Let me tell y'all people something. Y'all got to get out there uh, this November and vote. Get out there and vote this year. Do not sit at home. We got to get this guy out of here. All right. We got to get him out of office. Um, currently, uh, we have a few uh, Democrats uh, uh, that are that are going to try to uh, take him out of office. And uh, uh, the front runners right now are uh, Buttigieg, uh, Bernie, uh, Biden, Warren, and Klobuchar, uh, which uh, is surprising because uh, she finished the other day ahead of Elizabeth Warren, which was quite surprising. Uh, and Buttigieg, too, he came out of nowhere. Uh, Bernie did uh, win the uh, New Hampshire uh, primaries uh, by a small percentage. Uh, so it's looking real crazy right now for the Democrats, though. We uh, have way too many people running for that Democratic slot. Um, and I'm, I'm wondering if any of them really are. Uh, are electable enough to uh, knock out Donald Trump. I know y'all hate to hear it, but I honestly think that Donald Trump might get reelected, and hopefully uh, that won't be the case. Um, but uh, if he does, uh, we are in trouble, y'all. Uh, I want you to know that. We are definitely in trouble if this guy gets reelected. Um, so... Check it out. Um, let's talk about Biden, okay? Because he was supposed to be the guy. He was the Democrats' savior uh, in chief. Uh, everybody was thinking he was going to be the one to run away uh, with all the polls and this, that, or the other, but uh, he ain't doing so good. He ain't doing so good at all, but we'll see. They're headed to Nebraska right now. Um, the Nebraska primaries are coming up, so we'll see what happens with Biden uh, when he gets to Nebraska. Uh, Bernie. Bernie is way out there. Ber now, Bernie's people, let me tell you something about Bernie followers. I think I think Bernie supporters are, are, are just as crazy as uh, Trump supporters. Uh, you better not say nothing bad about Bernie. I hear these people are throwing out death threats and and all kinds of uh, bullshit, you know, uh, if you got something to say about Bernie. Um, Buddha judge. 
You know, it took me a long time to figure out how to say his name, even after hearing it uh, out of his own mouth. Uh, but Buddha Judge is a surprise uh, front runner. Um, uh, nobody uh, thought that um, he would uh, even still be in the race right now, but uh, surprisingly, he is. And uh, and I can't say that I don't dislike the guy. I, I listened to some of his plans. Uh, and, and and some are good, uh, others I don't like so much. But uh, you know, time will tell. Okay, time will tell. And what's her name? Uh, Klobuchar. Now I I, I never heard of her uh, before uh, before um, the uh, the campaign started. Um, I just know she's some senator. I I don't I can't even tell you what state she's from. Uh, but she's also a surprising uh, front runner, especially uh, after uh, so many people were uh, uh, pulling for uh, uh, Elizabeth Warren, and, and she couldn't even she couldn't even pull a win out uh, in New England, her home area. So uh, so we'll see, we'll see. But what has to be done is we got to get this guy out, no matter what. So. Whoever it comes down to on the Democratic side, y'all got to get out there and support them, whoever that may be. Uh, yes, I'm a never-Trumper, uh, um, and I'm sure a lot of you are as well. Uh, maybe some of you are not. I, I do have some Trump-supporting uh, friends. Uh, I, I don't know what's wrong with them, but uh, they support the guy. I can't understand why. Um, but we got to get this guy out of office. Um, because he's dangerous. He's he's extremely dangerous for for the country. He's he's dangerous for us as black folk, most definitely. Um, and and I don't care what you say. The dude is is is. Uh, if he gets another four years, I I, I could almost see a, a second civil war. Uh, happening um, it's going to be bad it's maybe not that extreme but don't think that it can happen um, because it definitely uh, it definitely can happen here in the U.S. Uh, again um, history has proven that uh, every great nation uh, basically self-destructed uh, so uh, don't get complacent uh, this November, get your asses out there and vote. Now, there's been a lot of fallout uh, with these uh, impeachment hearings. Um, after uh, the, the fake trial in the Senate, um, I made a commitment that I'm going to do everything I can to uh, keep this guy from getting reelected. Um, and I know I'm I'm nobody. I'm an insignificant. Uh, citizen, nobody knows who I am, and I'm sure not too many people even care what my opinion is. But this is my platform, and I'm going to give it, and uh, and uh, I'm going to spend uh, the rest of this year uh, campaigning and doing whatever it is that I can do uh, to keep Donald Trump from uh, getting another four years in the White House. So hopefully, uh, all y'all will get out there and and. Uh, Put in, put in an effort. You know, let's give it the good fight and see what we can do. Don't think that your vote doesn't count because it does. All right, and 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 quite honestly, the only reason Hillary lost the election uh, uh, was because of this electoral college thing that we have, and she just didn't campaign in the right places. Uh, the, uh, Trump beat her ass in all the places where she didn't go to, and and that's what gave him uh, the edge when it came down to uh, 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 delegates. So uh, y'all keep that in mind, uh, all you people out there in the Midwest, uh, Michigan, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Florida, um, get out and vote, man. Get out there and and let's make sure that uh, whoever the Democratic uh, candidate is gets the votes um now donald trump is going on a rampage right now uh i'm sure y'all notice he's been firing everybody to testify against him 
Um, I was just reading earlier today that uh, um, he said the military is probably uh, likely looking at disciplinary action against Lieutenant Colonel uh, Vindman. Um, now, now that's petty as hell. Um, not only is it petty, um, but th- there. I would imagine that there has to be some laws uh, against that. Um, we have whistleblower laws uh, that are supposed to protect anybody from uh, retaliation uh, if they spot any wrongdoing. Uh, um, but Trump uh, doesn't believe uh, in that. He doesn't believe in the Constitution. It, it's clear um, that... Uh, you know, he is uh, definitely uh, trying to make himself a king. He is a king right now. Uh, I mean, the, the Senate pretty much uh, confirmed that. Um, so, uh, you know, we got King Donald in the White House right now. So, y'all, y'all need to, uh, y'all need to really pay attention to what's going on. Um, but yeah, uh, after uh, you know, giving uh, his damaging testimony against. Uh, King Donald uh, during the uh, impeachment hearings at the, in the House, uh, Donald Trump uh, is, is pretty much uh, retaliating against everybody um, who uh, testified against him. Um, so uh, everybody better be careful. Probably nobody else is going to speak up against him anymore because they're going to be afraid of. Uh, uh, of, of somebody coming after him. So uh, we'll see uh, again, November 2020. Get out there and vote, y'all. Um, don't let um, don't let this guy win again. All right, I have had enough for talking about this guy because it, it, it's really a pain in the ass that um, uh, that that uh, this guy is uh, you know the the president. Wow. I thought I'd never hear that, President Donald Trump. So, how is everybody? Hopefully, uh, hopefully uh, everybody's doing well and feeling well. Um, I'm sure you notice I don't have the patch on my eye. Uh, I um been going through some things this past couple of weeks. Uh, I was seeing double. I actually got stranded up in Virginia uh, about a week and a half ago. Um, had to have somebody come up and get my ass because I couldn't drive. Uh, I was seeing two and three images, uh, and, and uh, that wasn't good. wasn't what Definitely wasn't good, you know, to be trying to drive and and, and not being able to see straight. And it's kind of scary, actually. Um, but I spent about four or five days up there waiting for somebody to come get my ass. They finally came and got me. Um, I had to come back to Florida because my medical records uh, hadn't been transferred uh, by the VA yet up to Jersey. Uh, So my primary care doctor is still here in South Florida. But I'm getting all that taken care of now. Um, I uh, just got um, word uh, earlier today that um, I will probably be able to get back to work um, no late, uh, by at least next Wednesday. So I'm hoping hoping it's going to be sooner. I'm going in Monday uh, for a follow-up uh, to uh, see what's what. Um, I can see much better now. I'm, I'm seeing a single image now. Uh, thank goodness. Uh, I still have a little bit of... Um, irritation here in this side of my face because I, I what what happened was I, I had a I thought I'd gotten something in my eye uh, when I was up in New York uh, uh, a week and a half two weeks ago um, turns out I had an infection from a toothache a toothache um, became infected and put a lot of pressure on uh, I'm going to use a big word here. Put a lot of pressure on the ocular nerve uh, behind my cornea and my right eye. And uh, 
that's what caused me to start seeing double. And, and let me tell you something, that shit hurt too. It, it hurt for a couple of days and then the pain, all the pain went away and the toothache actually went away. Um, and then, uh, but I couldn't see straight and it, it really screwed me up. So I've been sitting around uh, going back and forth uh, to the doctor uh, the past week and a half and uh, you know trying to get this taken care of. The VA was actually giving me the runaround um, the past few days uh, um, uh, trying to, because uh, I was trying to get in to see a civilian doctor because uh, I couldn't get down to West Palm Beach. I couldn't drive down there. And the shuttle to West Palm leaves at 7 in the morning. And uh, here at my brother's house is too far away. I, so I couldn't walk, uh, and the buses don't run that early. So um, I couldn't get to Palm Beach, uh, so I had to jump through some hoops uh, to get clearance to go see a civilian eye doctor. Uh, and then not only that... Uh, I couldn't even get an appointment at the VA uh, eye clinic for uh, until March. And then they were telling me, oh, it's going to take you about three months to get clearance, you know, to see a civilian specialist. So, you know, I was like, really? I, I can't sit around for three months. That I can't sit around till March. I need, I got to get back to work. You know what I'm saying? If I don't work, I don't eat. You know what I'm saying? So, and, and I'm sure all of you can uh, relate to that. Um, so, uh, and I'm, you know, just being honest, you know, I'm not a rich dude, you know. Uh, uh, I'm not balling like that where I can just sit around and, and not do anything. Uh, I'd like to get to that point at some time or another. Um, I, I've been been there before uh, but I'm not there now so uh, uh, I'm working on my retirement uh, now hopefully uh, I'm not going to have to work past uh, 55 <laughs> I'm 54 now so go figure I, I, I got a lot of hustling to do between now and next year right anyway uh, so hopefully uh, I'll, I'll be able to get back to work here uh coming up this this week and uh and um you know get back to earning uh you know it, it's it's real important uh that i do that uh but since i was sitting here i decided hey you know i may as well break out some of this equipment and uh put it to work i bought it and uh spent the last you know couple of months learning about it so I figured I'd put it to use. So here we are, uh, finally live. Now, uh, what I'm going to be doing is my live cast is going to be on Sunday nights, 9 to 11, and uh, uh, every week. And, uh, and throughout the week, you know, I'll, I'll keep posting some things, but we're, uh, we're really going to get busy here over the next few weeks uh, with a lot of marketing, you know, um, and, and so, so on, so that we can really um, uh, build our viewership and, and pull people into to this thing, uh, this experience of mine, okay? But let me, let me, let me explain to you, because a lot of y'all think this shit's easy, you know, and it hasn't been easy. Um, yeah, there's, and there's a lot of people online uh, doing shows, podcasts, vlogs, things of that nature, and a lot of them, you know, basically just turn on the camera and start talking. And I could have done that, um, but I, I have I have a different goal, you know. I I want this is my new career, you know, and um, I wanted to learn a few things first. I mean. My my background's in audio and music, you know. I, I can I can tell you everything there is to know about a recording studio and, and how to run a record label and shit like that and artist management, but I, I didn't know shit about broadcasting. Um, and then not only that, I hate being on camera. I really do. Um, and originally when I started this, uh, which was several years ago, um, 
I wasn't trying to be on camera at all. I was just behind the scenes producing. I produced a couple of other uh, shows for some other people, uh, you know, and, uh, and uh, you know, and as I said, I was learning, um, you know, this whole broadcast media thing. It was brand new back in, uh, it was like, what, 2008? Um, yeah, 10 years ago uh, when, when Crazy Baby TV was first uh, um, brought to life. Um, and uh, back then I was managing a young artist down in Boca Raton by the name of Michaela Page. Um, some of you may or may not know we, uh, we uh, myself and uh, a very good friend of mine, uh, Mr. Sidney McDonald, uh, um, got her a you know, got her a deal at Sony, and uh, I don't want to talk too much about that because the deal uh, fell through, uh, through no fault of my own. <laughs> but uh, you know, you just uh, you know go through some pitfalls when you're dealing with young artists, you know, and their parents who don't want to uh, take direction, you know, or in in you know, and let you do your job, you know, so to speak. So, but anyway, um, you know, Crazy Baby TV, you know, we started this thing back then. Uh, we had um, uh, a couple of different ideas back then. Under the Radar Music TV was a was a show that I want, was developing. And um, Pursue Your Passion was a show that uh, I produced for... Uh, the artist I was managing and we did a bunch of interviews you know celebrity interviews business interviews and things like that you know and it, w it was fun you know it was fun uh, you know so you know it, it's taken me some time uh, to learn exactly what I wanted to do with this platform um, but uh, eventually uh, I decided uh that I'm going to keep it uh, music focused, uh, lifestyle focused. Actually, uh, I mean we'll, we'll talk about anything on my show, um, but the website uh, crazybabytvworld.com uh, is definitely uh, going to stay as close to the music industry as possible. So, uh, indie artists, keep in mind I'm here to promote you. Okay, I want to make sure that um, I can provide a good platform for you all to get exposure so you can be seen, be heard, and become relevant. Um, and uh, we'll grow together. You know, you help me, I help you. You know what I'm saying? Right now, um, I'm offering some free promotion for, for artists. You know, all you got to do is send me your uh, YouTube links and we'll get your videos in rotation. Or, or send me uh, MP3 of your latest release, and uh, we'll play your music live on the air. And I'll also uh, put a spot for you on the website. Uh, we have an unsigned uh, hype page uh, just for independent artists, and it's going to take us some time to build it up, but right now it's free. And all I'm asking in return is that if we put your music on and put your video on, you just take my logo and, and post my logo, you know, on some of your social media, maybe on your website or whatever. It's just going to be a reciprocal type type of deal uh, right now until uh, until it's not, you know. So, um, but let me tell you something. We're going to be here and we're going to grow. And, and but once we blow up, don't come around, you know, looking for that free deal. All right. I'm just being honest because, again, you know, this is my new career, and so it's definitely going to have to uh, produce some revenue so that uh, I can uh, live in, hopefully live until a ripe old age and retire uh, gracefully, you know, grow old gracefully. That's my thing. That's all I want to do is grow old gracefully and uh if I can uh, share a little bit of, of my experience with you all uh, along the way, I, I'm happy to do that. Um, so, uh, 
you know, let's help each other build, you know. You guys are trying to, and girls are trying to get your careers kicked off, and uh, I'm trying to do the same thing again, you know. I've, you know, honestly, I've lived a full life, you know, but I ain't planning on dying no time soon, so... I want to keep doing something until that day comes uh, that I that I can enjoy and, and have fun with. So that's what this is all about. Um, you know, so we're gonna hopefully have a good time and uh, and uh, talk about a lot of things and 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 see what happens. All right. Um, now check it out. The phone lines are open. Uh, give me a call if you like. Uh, it's open form today. We can talk about anything. I don't care what it is. Whatever's on your mind, if you got something to say to me, if you uh, got some suggestions or, or comments or or uh, or whatever, um, you know, uh, let me know. Uh, so give us a call. The number seven seven two eight two eight seven one eight nine, and uh, we'll we'll talk live on the air. So check it out. <coughs> Um, what, what what I was thinking about something earlier. Now I forgot. See, that's that's what happens uh, when you get older. Uh, y'all y'all better um, y'all better uh, guard guard your brain. I'm telling you, cause uh, uh, eat healthy, get, uh, get plenty of rest. Because uh, let me tell you, uh, memory starts to slip uh, uh, when you uh, when you get older. Um, uh, a lot of you who know me well you know that uh it was two years ago uh i had a stroke um and uh let me tell you something that was a very uh eye-opening experience um and i was alone in my studio that night when it happened and um could have been a goner could have you know could have been on my way home permanently you know what i'm saying uh so uh, it gave me a whole new perspective on life, and uh, it was at that point that I decided uh, that I'm not going to let life get in the way of me living. Um, that's what happens to a lot of people. Uh, you let life get in the way, and, and you forget how to live. Um, we wake up every day, and, and it's like we're running in to punch the clock, nine to five, nine to six, nine to seven, nine to eight, you know, all kind of crazy hours, you know, busting our asses, you know, really working hard to make somebody else's dream come true. Um, Now, um, I've always been an advocate of self-employment, you know, so um, I've always, you know, talk to people around me, uh, you know, and and let them know that, hey, you know, if you got an idea for a business, uh, you got a a, a hobby that you love, turn turn it into your job because we spend our entire lives damn near working uh, for somebody else unless you're a business owner. You know what I mean? I've had, in fact, when I first got into the music business, uh, one of the things that I used to hear all the time was, yo, Ken, why don't you get a real job? When I left the military, okay, the military was probably the last real job that I had. When I left the military, and, and I never looked back, um, I, you know, and, and don't get me wrong, I've, I've worked you know, I, I mean, we always work for somebody else. Even when you're self-employed, you're working for somebody else. Um, but ownership has so much, um, so much more satisfaction when you own what you do. You know what I mean? Um, when, when you can make your own decisions, make your own schedule, you know, and, and you just like live life on your own terms, that that has is such a different feeling uh, as opposed to when you have to wake up and you got to go in and you got to answer somebody else every day, you know, Monday through Friday, or, you know, sometimes Monday through Saturday or, or whatever your work schedule may be. It, it, it's it, and sometimes it's demoralizing when you when you're going in to punch that clock every day, um, but uh, you know if if you can find a way 
uh, to make money, you know, and you don't need a lot, really, you know. I mean, unless you want a lot of stuff, and you know, and that's the that's the nightmare that we were we've been sold all of our lives that you gotta you work hard, you get the nice cars, you get the big house, and you and all the stuff, you know. And you, I mean, you don't really need all that stuff to live a good life. It's nice to have. Uh, and, and don't get me wrong, I've had it. I've lived that lifestyle. Um, but uh, I, I realized, you know, in recent years that that's not where my happiness was, you know. And, and you know, we will, you know, people will kill themselves, you know, to, to you know, to get things, you know. And, and the, the, the point I'm making, you can't take it with you, you know, and that's not to say you shouldn't enjoy uh, whatever it is that you want out of life. I mean, if you set a goal for yourself, if there's something that you do want, yeah, go for it by all means. Uh, go for it wholeheartedly, um, but don't let your life be defined by the stuff that you accumulate. Don't look at the next man who might have a Bentley or a Mercedes and, and, and think that his life is better than yours because you don't have that stuff. It's, it's not the stuff that makes the person. It's not the stuff that will actually bring happiness to your life. Now, I'm not going to say that you can't buy happiness. I'm not going to try to sell you on that bullshit. Um, Because the fact of the matter is, if you got more money, it's a lot easier to be happy. You you follow what I'm saying? Uh, And so, but there are a lot of people out here in the world that have a lot of money, that have uh, these dream lifestyles, and they're just miserable. Because once, uh, especially in the music industry, I, I found over the years, a lot of the people that I've dealt with that became very successful, you know, and and and, the, and then, you know, they get into their success and then they're like, oh my God, I hate my life, you know, and they get into drugs and alcohol or whatever and they, you know, and then they just destroy themselves um, because they feel all this pressure, you know. There's pressure to, to continue to, to put out hits and there's pressure to keep up this false image that they've created around their career and, you know, this, that, or the other. And I, I realized a long time ago, I, I didn't want any of that. You know, I used to tell people, I still tell people, you know, fuck that fame. You can have the fame. You know, I always wanted the fortune. You know, if, and, and if you could have the fortune without the fame, without the publicity, then, then life would be good because then you wouldn't be pressured in trying to keep up these images, you know. But this is the society that we live in uh, where, where it, this, this visual image that's portrayed is how people judge you. You know, if you're not driving around you know, in the in the nicest car, or if, or if you don't have, uh, if you're not wearing the latest designer clothing and, and shit like that, you know, people look at you sideways, and you know, and, and and you know, or or they'll and they'll try to tell you what you should be doing. Oh, if you do this and that, you'll be fuck that. Live for you. That's the point I'm trying to make. Live for you. Whatever makes you happy, whatever makes your boat float, that's what you should live for. Okay, don't live for anybody else. Don't live trying to impress impress anybody, you know, or, or, or trying to, um, you know, trying to uh, 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 make somebody, you know, don't live for anybody else's approval. You know, because you will drive yourself stir crazy trying to keep up with the Joneses and the Smiths. You follow what I'm saying? Um, I've never been that guy. Never. I could care less what the Joneses got. You know, I could care less what anybody else is doing uh, with their lives because I've seen both sides of the track. I've seen people kill themselves uh 
trying to keep up these fake images, okay? And and I still see people out here, the fake ballers. I see them on, on social media every day. And, and I know these people personally, you know, and I know what their situations are, you know. And uh, I, I'll be the first to tell you, me, I'm not rich, okay? No, I don't drive, I don't drive a big uh, car, you know, I don't, you know, I don't have a lot of things anymore. I, I used to used to try to live that life, and, and it was hard. It was hard trying to keep up all that shit. Um, and, and, and quite honestly, right now, uh, my plans now are to uh, uh, get myself a, 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 a small RV, you know, and. and and, and live live a minimalist lifestyle, you know. I just because I don't need all of this shit, you know, to make me happy. You, you follow what I'm saying? I don't need stuff. I just need a place to lay my head down at night. You know what I'm saying? When, uh, some place I can get out of the weather uh, because I want to be able to go do other things. I want to travel again. I want I want to uh, you know I want to take a long road trip. And, uh, and uh, you know, go see some parts of the country that I haven't seen yet, which ain't too many, but this is a big-ass country. I've been all across it. I've been around the world uh, several times, um, and this is a big, huge world out there. There's still so much more to see and so much more to do. That would make me happy. If I, if I could just, like, um, take the show on the road you know, and travel all across America talking to people. That's that's my ultimate goal for me. Okay, um, I uh, uh, was talking to uh, a gentleman uh, yesterday. It was actually when I was uh, when I went down to West Palm Beach. I, I was speaking to a guy, um, and uh, very articulate dude. You know, looked like you know looked like he was living well. You know, I. And, uh, and everything uh, come to find out he doesn't own a house he was living in his van and he just travels uh, all over the place and he does remote work um, and you know he finds little odd jobs you know in, in the cities and towns that he goes to and you know in, in, this, in the winter time he comes down south and all summer long he's wherever you know and he said he's been living uh a, a, the mobile life for about the last eight nine years and let me tell you something this guy was so stress-free Sh- so stress-free um he he, he he um and and he had a lot of money you know, he had a lot of money saved up because he didn't have all those expenses of owning a home and and maintaining a home and 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 all you know all the other trappings of the American dream uh, that we were sold. You know, now hey, some people you know live fine. That's their thing. You know, um, I've had a few houses over the years. Um, but let me tell you, even when I had them, it, it was it was always a struggle, you know, just because I because I had to put in so much work. I was working six, seven days a week so I could keep the stuff, and I don't want to do that anymore. I just don't. Um, I'm a I'm a you know I uh, you know I, I I can't see myself. Um, uh, you know, you know, busting my ass, you know, six, seven days a week anymore, just to keep stuff. You know that stuff is not my goal. You know, um, easy living is my goal now. Um, all my kids are grown, um, and uh, and and so. Uh, hold on, I, I'm sorry. I. I'm getting phone calls while I'm talking uh, from from my daughter. Uh, let's see. I, I love my kids. My, uh, you know, my my daughter, my son. I, I miss.
miss him so much. My son's up in New York going to college. Um, and, uh, oh, well. And, uh, and my two daughters are here in South Florida. Uh, and my grandson, I got two granddaughters on the way. Um, so I, I'm excited. You know, life so far has turned out really well. I can't complain about anything. Um, but uh, as I was saying, you know, I'm just looking forward to easy living now the rest of my life. You know, I'm not trying to, uh, you know, not trying to uh, keep up with anybody. I'm not trying to impress anybody. Um, you know, this is it. CrazyBabyTVWorld.com is, is my universe. Uh, and uh, this show, hopefully, uh, uh, now that I finally kicked it off, um, hopefully uh, you all will watch uh, every week, and hopefully I can entertain you all every week um, with uh, whatever. You know, like I said, though, um, we, and we can talk about anything and everything. For me, it's going to be therapy. Uh, just to be on here and just to be able to share uh, my experiences with you all. Um, and, uh, you know, for those of you that know me, you know I love to talk, you know. I just never thought I'd be talking on camera. But that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm, and I'm not going to try to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm doing it now, and I'm going to keep doing it, you know. So, uh whether anybody watches or not, I will be here uh, every week and, and throughout the week with my little uh, post or in, in, in whatever, you know, whatever I decide to throw out there. But uh, as I said to you artists out there, um, this platform's for you. So take advantage of it, you know, take advantage of it. Um, who knows, you know, um, you, you look at this little website of mine and figure hey you know who is that guy you know he ain't nobody but you never know who's watching you never know who's paying attention this could be the platform that helps get you to the next level in your career and that's what it's all about all right take advantage of every opportunity that comes to you um now i got some you know, I got some plans, you know, uh, for some events uh, over the next uh, few months. Um, uh, we're going to be doing some entertainment events uh, up in New Jersey. And, uh, and um, um, you know what? I have to uh, answer my door. Hold on. I will be right back. I'm back. Sorry about that, y'all. Um, didn't expect anybody to show up at the door. Somebody looking for my nephew. And uh, hey, uh, so goes so goes it uh, when you're uh, putting in work at the house. Uh, you never know what to expect. So anyway, um, as I was saying, uh, looking for, looking for the stress-free life moving forward. I hope. All of you out there uh, 
pursue whatever it is that uh, makes you happy and whatever it is that uh, floats your boat. Um, get out there and uh, just do it, you know? Uh, you know, the, the don't, you know, like I said, don't let life get in the way of you living. Um, uh, it's real easy for us to get caught up, you know, and, and uh, next thing you know, our life has passed us by and, 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 you know, you, you haven't had the opportunity to do any of the things that you wanted to do, you know. Um, I never, uh, never want to be that, that dude that's like 65, almost 70 years old, you know, and, and, you know, just now being able to get out there and, uh, travel or do whatever. Now, I'm, I've been very fortunate because I got, you know, as I said, I've been all around the world. I've been all across this country. I got to do all of that very early in my life, uh, Right after high school, went into the military. Um, you know, spent almost ten years in the military, um, and, and and those are some good years. Uh, you know, uh, been married a few times, <laughs> and, and uh, you know, as I said, got three kids, and and I uh, got three grandkids. So um, you know, life turned out good. You know, and and. You know, every day wasn't roses, you know, um, it's been up, it's been down, it's been sideways, you know, but that's life. Um, we gotta, we gotta just take it as it comes. Um, but, uh, moving forward, you know, I guess I'm not letting anything stop me from living. Not, not anymore. Um, almost worked myself to death, even though I was, uh, self-employed for, for most of my adult life, I almost worked myself into an early grave, you know, putting in all kind of crazy hours and not taking the time to uh, enjoy uh, the fruits of my labor. Um, you know, so uh, uh, not going to do that anymore. Um, Got to get back up to New Jersey because I'm quite sure my uh, girlfriend's about sick of my ass not being there. Um, ho ho hopefully... <laughs> Hopefully she'll be there when I get back, you know, and and and, and not, you know, I'm I'm hoping I don't get that phone call saying, hey, you know what? Don't even bother uh, coming back. You've been gone too damn long. So, but um, hey, if that happens, I just got to deal with that too, right? So, thing is this though, uh, life is what you make it. And it's going to be whatever uh, you write for yourself. You, you are the author of your own book. Always remember that. All right? Always remember. You're in control of your destiny. And tomorrow's never guaranteed. Nothing is promised. And yesterday, uh, we can't get back. You know, so you got to live in the moment and enjoy every minute that you have. Um, Somebody uh, asked me how I was doing uh, recently. I said, I'm doing great. You know, I woke up this morning, so I can't complain about nothing. You know, think about the people that aren't awake this morning, that didn't wake up this morning. Think about that. Uh, you know, a couple weeks ago, we lost Kobe Bryant and his 13-year-old daughter, okay, and, 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 and seven other... Uh, seven other uh, victims in that tragic crash you know it could all be it could all be over at any time you know at any time so uh don't let yourself get so caught up you know that you know you forget to live uh, it's um it's very important uh that you try to uh enjoy your life as much as you can so that um you know when you do get old uh you can look back and say you know what i had a good life you know you don't want to look back and say man i wish i would have should have could have would have you know what i'm saying so uh, i'm not gonna be that guy i've done a lot and i got a lot more to do all right so that's it 
that's all I got to say today. I know it sounded like one long rambling session, uh, but I, you know, as I said, this wasn't an official show. I just wanted to come on, make sure all this damn equipment that I spent all this money for is gonna work, and I'm happy with it. Um, I'm very happy with it. So uh, we're definitely uh, gonna get some mileage out of it, and. And hopefully uh, you all will join me for the next episode uh, in which we will have a real topic uh, for discussion. Uh, But in the meantime, um, email me, crazybabytvworld at outlook.com or crazybabytv at gmail.com. Send in your suggestions, send in your requests, keep the phone number, because I can take your calls live on the air, and I definitely want to talk to somebody. So join the conversation. We will see you Sunday night, 9 p.m., 9 to 11, the Ken Jackson Experience, right here at crazybabytvworld.com. All right, don't miss it. Peace.